What's up guys? Go Eagles 1990 here. Um, here to talk a little bit about this game. Eagles lose 17-11 to the 49ers. Uh, shout out to the Niner Empire. Um, you guys came. You, you know, you represented your team. Um, there's a lot of 49er red in there in the stadium today. Um, listen, I'm not giving up on this season, but that pass blocking so far these first two games has just not been good. Um, and I don't think Jalen, Jalen Hurts wasn't horrible today. He wasn't great. But, I mean, god damn, dude. I mean, every time he snapped the ball, they were on his ass. And I know people are going to say, well, look how good the Niners are, are up front. Yes, I, I realize the Niners are very good up front. But I noticed this against Atlanta, too. So, this isn't just a one-game thing. This has been going on now. I do like Hurts' ability to scramble. I mean, he got out of some bad, tough spots today. I think he only got sacked once. I mean, so that was a positive. But what was going on with the play calling? I mean, most specifically, right before the half. I mean, God damn, dude. Run, get the ball in the end zone, run it. What the fuck? I mean, God damn. Because that's where the game turned. All right? You have a chance to go into the locker room up 10 nothing. All right, maybe 10 nothing. Hey, or maybe 10 3 at worst. Let me roll the window down, man. Hot as balls. Or maybe at worst 10 3. I don't get. I did not get the play calling in the red zone at all. And then the second half, we we couldn't move the ball an inch. You know, Sirianni or John and Jonathan and then. Well, not really Jonathan Gannon because the defense played well, but definitely Nick Sirianni did not counter attack. Uh, to what the uh, Niners were doing. Why don't you bring a double in a double tight end set and max protect? I mean, god damn. All right, let, er let Ertz run patterns, because we know Ertz can't block for shit. Goddard can. And bring a double tight end sit and max protect, man. God damn, dude. Every time the ball was snapped, the Niners were on his ass. I mean, thank God we thank God he's mobile. Cause otherwise they would have had about seven or eight sacks easily. Um <coughs> that was a problem. Jalen Rager, who I, I still think is gonna be good, but bro. You got to know you you can't you got to know that you can't step out of bounds and come back in and then be the first to touch the ball. Like you're in the NFL, dude. There's no reason you didn't know that. That took points off the board. Cowboys beat the Chargers by the way. So next week going to be a battle of one and one teams. Right. Eagles, I'll say this much. I think I personally do believe we can beat the Cowboys because the Cowboys to me haven't been that impressive. I don't think they were really overly impressive today. They made they, they made the plays to win the game and they deserve to win the game. You know, they had the ball last, you know, the Chargers iced the kicker, gave them another chance, which I hate that stupid icing the kicker rule, but whatever. Um and Zerline uh connected with from fifty six. But well, here's the thing. Dallas has had our number. So, and next week in prime time, their home opener. Tell me what, Eagles. You better have your shit together. Um. Oh, one more thing I wanted to get to. Derek Barnett. I hope you get fucking cut. 
all right? I mean, there's there's talk about, you know, right now with Brandon Graham, you know, potentially being out for the season, um, who's going to start at the defensive end? Personally, I would start Kerrigan. Um, I put Josh Sweat on the, the other side. I don't want Derek Barnett anywhere near the, near the field. That was such a stupid penalty. Um, the Kayvon Wallace penalty was another one. That was stupid, too. He's a second-year player. He's got to be smarter than that. Especially, you you cannot lead with your helmet. It doesn't matter whether uh, the, the offensive player initiates contact or not. You just you can't do it. And the Kayvon Wallace one was when we were getting the ball back on a fumble. About to you know, set up shop at midfield. <sighs> Eagles, get your shit together next week. We got the Cowboys, man. It's no joke next week. Got a, you're going to have 100,000 people in that stadium. You better be ready to play next Monday night, guys. Because guess what? After Dallas, guess who comes to the town? Yeah. Patrick Mahomes. And I'm getting ready to go up and watch the, I'm gonna be watching go up and watch the Chiefs Ravens game. So get your shit together. That's all I gotta say. Go birds.